So I had to come over and check this out. I've heard, I've been hearing rumors that this is actually a leaf underneath this and the body of a Mercedes. So I'm gonna try to take a closer look and find out whose car is this. Uh, right here. I want to thank The Ridge for continuing to support this channel. So I call The Ridge Walls the Tesla of walls because it's so minimal and sleek and since it doesn't bend or fold in any way, it always looks really clean. They've also got a charging backpack that's shock resistant for laptops and it's water resistant too. And I'm telling you that the gadgetry of their stuff reminds me so much of Tesla. If you're ever going to gift someone, you should check them out. Ridge.com slash like Tesla and enter the code like Tesla for 10% off. This is ours. Is, uh, we actually built this for a client. Can you describe exactly what we have going on here? Yeah, well, this is a 72280SA. Uh, it uh, sits on a 108 platform, which is a 108 inches platform. And it's been retro, so it's been restored fully on the outside to look as if it's just a regular restored classic car. Inside, it's got a Nissan Leaf drivetrain, Nissan Leaf battery pack, and suspension. So what it is, it's got a, an older look, but it's got a newer ride. And because of the weight of the older car and all the components, it's got a heavy kind of Cadillac-ish ride where it kind of floats. And uh, that's what we're working with. So what is the range then when you retrofitted it like uh, this? Has it affected we, the range? We haven't lost anything. It's a, it's a 2013 battery pack. So because of time and battery degradation, you're looking at about 70, 75 miles. We're working with a company now that can restore and that it can, re, re, I don't know, revitalize a battery pack. That their chemistry is way beyond my pay grade, but they're looking at bringing these things back to about 90 to 95%. Okay, yeah. uh, so where do you charge this? Is In the rear, charge, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Some of the leaf. So what we did is we extended all of the wiring that would normally be in the front of the leaf, put all the way to the back. And then what looks like a license plate holder folds down, there's your charging ports. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it's got a DC and an AC charging system. How many that is can so cool. 24. 24? Yeah, 24, yeah. So yeah, this is her. What's the cost of a conversion like this? This is about 75,000. Wow. Yeah. Tesla Kim, right? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and actually, yep. Uh, come out of shop, we're actually building a Ford F450 dually, and we took a Tesla drive unit, separated the inverter from the motor, took out the, uh, the uh, differential, and we're running our own differential that we've hooked to a, uh, that we've made it to a transfer case out of uh, Colorado. And we're going to have the first dually that you can drive, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive, and it'll have about a 220 mile range. Okay, I definitely want to see this. Yes, yes. Coming soon, make sure you guys are subscribed because this is going to be our next video. Yeah. It's just so cool. I didn't even know that you guys were here doing this. How yeah, did I well, we just started about a year ago. And uh, it just kind of formed. It just happened. It wasn't even on purpose. It was sort of like an accident. Uh, that guy's an inventor, and he invented a light that uh, runs about two degrees above ambient temperature and it's a, a light for office buildings and it's also bulletproof. And uh, so he linked up with Train and I have a partner that worked with him and we just kind of met and said, hey, let's, let's do something for fun, build some cars. And, you know, it just happened to work out that way. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cool. And then you added this. Yes, yes, all Did electric. Did you see that? It's you safety standards. We did not compromise safety to build it. So is, do you know if there's any sort of inspection that they have to go through after you well, I mean, uh, I don't think Congress has got involved yet. Once they get to get in our pockets, and yeah, we'll have to have So once they realize what you're doing, then <laughs> yeah, they we'll might live. come in? No, we'll, they will, yeah. yeah. So did the client find the car and want to do this, or did you... Client. This is the client's car. Okay. He wanted his car. He so always he had wanted the Mercedes, his car. and yes. he said, I want it to be electric. I want it to be electric, yes. I want, to, I want my car to be classic, but I don't want it to be kicking out emissions. I don't want to have to worry about breaking down on me, you know, while I'm out on a Sunday drive. And I want it to be quiet, and I want it to be, you know, and, and I want it to be safe because yeah. it, you know, the old original steering wheel didn't have hair, airbags, and it was like riding in a in a big metal can. So he wanted it comfortable, and he wanted it safe, and that's what we did. And he wanted an awesome sound system, which I designed, by the way. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. Hit my ride right here. That's so cool. Greg and his partner's EV conversion shop seems so fascinating. We had to stop by to learn more. So now we're putting the anchors for the seat belts in so that everyone in the back has seat belts. Like with the leaf, you know, you're like able to see where your battery's range is and things like that. So has oh. this all had to change on the inside? No, 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 no. We did was 
if you start this up here. Okay, so this is all the leaf right here. This is all leaf, yes. Yes. But then this obviously is like a custom. This is definitely custom, yes. This is mm -hmm. something we made. So you can see your battery range. Go through your options. You can see your average speed, your distance traveled. You can go through and see th like your time of charge, however long it takes to charge. You can see pretty much everything. Um, this here was cut out so that you can have a good view of your, it's, 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 parse, it's twofold. It's for looks and also so you can see exactly how fast you're going and other pertinent information. But uh, should it have an, an issue as far as handling goes, what I'm gonna do is have a piece of glass blown so that it goes straight across and you can still see through it. At okay. the very least, it'll be opaque enough so where you can see, if not totally transparent. But uh, yeah, it, everything works just like a normal car. You have AC, you have your airbags, you have um, your regular shifting. Uh, the car is actually on right now, just like your Tesla. You know, it's, it, it's a very quiet vehicle. Our goal was to make it as comfortable and retro as possible. So what we kind of special in is those projects that people don't want to tackle. Usually when you do a conversion, there's kind of, there's those things that I guess kind of give it that home built look. Yeah. We venture totally away from that. We want everything to be OEM as possible, everything to be as sort of resto mod, like Mercedes have, uh, we, their window switches are in the front. So we had to move our window switch, relocate everything, all of our relays and all, so that your windows roll up and down just like they normally would. You can lock them out for the rear, do everything just like you would in a modern car, but in an older vehicle. And that's what our goal is to do. We like to do resto mods, but we like to do our resto mods to the point where they are, uh, I guess, as OEM or as, as uh, customized as yeah. possible. So, so, do you let the um, customer decide on some of that, or do you just kind of collaborate you know, together? The or customer, is this, this is totally what the customer wants. If the customer wants it, the customer gets it. If the customer wanted this off, this part of steering wheel out, we gave it to them. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it, whatever the anything fathomable that the customer wants inside the bounds of the law, we'll do it. There's a lot of modifications that had to go involved, as you see, but one of the hardest was body modification because leaves use, use all signals to, to get in and out of the car. Uh -huh. You know, everything is off of your dongle or off of your key antenna. And you don't use that with this because there's nowhere to put it and there's no way to, this lock, because of this, the year of this, this lock is air actuated. So we couldn't do anything with the body. The body module is useless in this car, but the body module ties into the software. So there was a lot of manipulation to get that to work. Mind blowing to me that yeah. you are able to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like you have to be a mechanic, you have to be a software engineer, you have to kind of be able to. Yeah, a little bit of electronics, high, low voltage. Uh, there's a lot of, you have to be able to, like I said, Bill, that guy, that gentleman with the dark blue shirt, that's my partner. He's one of the best body mod modifiers and restor rest restorators I've ever met. Restorers, body restorers. Yeah. And in, the Mer in these Mercedes, they came with a spring type hinge to keep this up. And because this was retrofitted onto a different chassis, we didn't have that. So we had to make shocks, a shock system for the front and for the rear. And that's something that didn't seem like a big deal, but to get that to fit and challenge and open and close right and to do it a hundred times, you know, so when a client gets in, it's like nothing to him. It's like OEM. That was the challenge. So, uh, yeah. I mean, so many things. We don't even think about. 100 yeah. percent Wow. Who did it? I think that oh, this might be the star you know of the show. Yeah. I mean, Porsche's here with their tie on, but this is like. Yes. Yes, I did. Insane oh, so to me. Like this is blowing my mind right uh, here. Just me and a partner right now because it's, it's kind of intricate work, so we kind of work together. On it. So come up by the show. Come give us a call. Yeah. By the show. Here's the open intern. Here. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm willing to learn. <laughs> Next time on Like Tesla. And this is off of creep mode. Yeah, it's not no creep mode. All right, go ahead. Battery box is all wired up. All the BMS chips have been installed. So right now we're gonna go take a look at, this is a Ford F450 Dually and it has a Tesla inside it. No, is it a Tesla Model S that Model you use? Yes, Model And what, what size battery? What we had to do was separate the inverter from the uh, motor, take out the differential. When we're done, if you look at this here, we also designed a gear shift so that you can drive this truck rear wheel drive front wheel drive all right guys hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to check out some of the over 200 ev and tesla inspired videos on our channel
And thanks as always for continuing to support us by shopping on our website, liketeslakim.com. Check out some of the fun designs, Elon quotes, and more for men, women, and kids.